consider the properties of a recursive enumerable language like here i just consider two properties union and intersection alone so recursively enumerable language is closed under union and intersection that is like union of two recursively enumerable language is recursively enumerable language consider the language l1 and l2 a recursively like uh, inter union of these languages like the input either belongs to l1 or the input belongs to l2 so here a language is said to be recursively enumerable when it is accepted by a turing machine so now we are going to construct a turing machine m1 for the language l1 if the input belongs to the language input belongs to the language l1 the machine accepts it okay so this is the category we can construct a turing machine if the input belongs to the language the machine accepts again we have we can like we say that this l2 is also a recursively enumerable language so we can construct a turing machine m2 so in this input in this again we send this input w if the input belongs to this language l2 the input will be accepted by this machine so here whatever it is if the input be accepted by this machine l1 we accept it if the input be accepted by this machine l2 we accept it so here the acceptance is properly defined whenever we give a input w it it runs in this machine m1 and again we use this m2 to run the machine if any of the machine accepts it we are going to accept it so this is called a so we can say that the union of two recursively enumerable languages again recursively enumerable next property is intersection of two recursively enumerable languages also in, uh, recursively enumerable intersection in the sense like when you consider two language l1 and l2 whichever is common like uh, it the input that belongs to l1 and l2 will be taken as an intersection so here we can construct a turing machine for m1 for the language l1 if the input accepts accepted by this machine then we are going to send the same input to this machine m2 and if the input belongs to this language l2 we are going to accept it okay so here the input is accepted only if it is accepted by both this machine m1 and m2 we are going to accept it here is a case where if it is accepted by either m1 or m2 we are going to accept it and intersection it has to be accepted by m1 and then m2 we are going to accept the input so these are the properties of a recursively enumerable language thank you